In today's world, everything's going digital, and contracts are one of those things that have been digital for a while and are legally accepted. Signing a contract digitally via e-signature will save you a lot of time, which is the most valuable thing when you're doing business. And when it comes to e-signed contracts, my first choice software tool, the way that I get these done, is with Signaturely. But there are a lot of other tools on the market, so in today's video, I wanna compare Signaturely to one that you might have heard about, DocuSign, and let's talk about the pros and cons. Let's talk about why I like Signaturely better, where it could improve and stuff like that. So that's what I wanna talk about in today's video, Signaturely versus DocuSign. Let's do it. By the way, this video is sponsored by Signaturely. If you want e-signatures, you want it quick, you want it easy, then go on over to Signaturely's website, which you can see down below. First, let's talk about why e-signatures are better and why you should use them. Well, signing contracts digitally will save you a lot of time. It's gonna increase your productivity. It'll save the effort of you having to check again and again whether a contract was sent. They're legally accepted, so an e-signature is legal the same as a paper signature. It leads to a better consumer experience and it'll help reduce the cost. There's no need to mail things. There's no need to have couriers take things across town. E-signature and you're done. If you haven't watched that video about me doing e-signatures using Signaturely, then I would check that one out. But before that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of tool reviews, B2B tools, stuff like that. And also cold email tutorials. We show you how to grow your agency, grow your SaaS business, etc. And you can follow along with our journey of growing our businesses. So make sure you subscribe down below and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's talk about how Signaturely compares to DocuSign. DocuSign, if you don't know, is also a document signing tool. So let's log into both and see what we're doing. Right off the bat, you can see that DocuSign gives you three cents which is the same as Signaturely. They have a free forever plan, which gives you three cents. So it's the same there. In terms of the UI of both, you can see you just drop a document here to get started. And with Signaturely, you can either choose a template or you can do the exact same thing, drop a document to get started. So for this one, let's use our contract template from Email 10K. If you wanna use this contract for your agency services, you can get that at email10k.com slash contract. You can have that for free. So let's download this as a PDF. And we'll drag and drop into DocuSign. You can see it's uploading the document like that. We can view the contract, hit next. Then you type in the recipient. So let's type in Div Sharma, div at x27marketing.com. You can add multiple recipients here, hit next. Then inside, you have to fill out like all this information here. Text boxes, signature down at the bottom, etc. Then you'd hit next, and then you'd send. How does that compare to Signaturely? Inside Signaturely, you go in, you fill out the document title, the optional message, add the other signers. Let's say again, Div Sharma, div at x27marketing.com. We can either choose a contract template if we had one saved, or we do the exact same thing. We drag and drop the contract template from email 10K right here. Once that's done, we prepare the doc for signing, and then we're presented with a similar page. We go through and we fill out the text box here. We can fill out the signature at the bottom, initials, all that sort of thing. And then we just hit send. We fill out signature here. So this will be my signature. Then the other one would be divs signature, which we would assign to him like that. One click, very easy to use. Then we'd hit send and there we go. From a user experience point of view, they're pretty similar. Although I like that Signaturely has the templates and it does look cleaner as well. DocuSign looks a little bit dated. You can see these hard designs here. This is more modern for sure. Signaturely is more modern in design. There's a lot to do here in DocuSign and it seems like even the basic stuff gets complicated. It's hard to figure out what's going on. Signaturely, like you saw when we did the user flow, it was very simple. It's clear who needs to sign. You just click the buttons, you drag and drop, and it was very simple to set up. In Signaturely, it also lets you save the document and edit and modify as needed before you send it. Another issue with DocuSign is it doesn't check that all the fields are filled out correctly. So you might get a document back that says it's signed, but it's actually unsigned or has missing fill. In DocuSign, it might happen that you get messages that come back unsigned as well, because DocuSign doesn't have a check for each one of the pieces of the document that you need. So you might have false positives where you have a signature, but you're still missing information. In Signaturely, people can add their signatures in seconds. So you will see a pending 
thing if they haven't signed yet and you'll be able to follow up. Another thing to compare is the pricing. Signaturely is free for three contracts every month, which is enough for most small businesses. If you're barely new to this thing, you're sending just a couple contracts a month, Signaturely would be completely free for you. That's not the same in DocuSign. DocuSign gives you three as a trial, but then you have to pay $10 per month for their cheapest plan. $10 on the annual, you actually have to pay $15 a month for their cheapest plan. As a business owner, DocuSign seems more expensive for less features, and Signaturely seems cheaper, better, and it, it doesn't really compete. Right, if you're going based on, does it send contracts? Yes, they both send contracts. Does one charge you to send contracts while the other one lets you send three for free? Yeah, so why would you use DocuSign? Even if this wasn't sponsored, it makes sense to use Signaturely. And I didn't even talk about the templates. Signaturely also has templates. If you don't wanna hire a lawyer, these are reviewed by legal professionals, which I always find helpful. A lot of business owners don't have the time or the money to invest in hiring legal help for every single contract, so using a template helps there. And while DocuSign does not have any pre-written templates, Signaturely has 45 or more templates that you can use. And actually, we might do a whole video on the templates. That sounds like an interesting thing to cover. If you wanna get started and get those three free contracts every month, then go on over to Signaturely.com. I think it's pretty clear who won this, even if it wasn't sponsored. If it was sponsored by DocuSign, I feel like it'd be hard to even say the doggy sound was better at this point because signaturely just on a price and features basis has beaten DocuSign. So go ahead and check out Signaturely.com to sign up for that. And if you wanna join a community of entrepreneurs all working together to grow their business, then check out Email 10K, which you can join at Email10K.com. That'll give you weekly access to me. We're on calls every single week growing our business. That is over at Email10K.com. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.